Welcome to Terribly Accurate and to the month of March. In this video, we are going to look at the overall vibe for the month. Will you find your pot of gold? Are you gonna get lucky in love? Where do you need to push your luck to get ahead? What rain will be hitting your life what will the rainbow after be? And then if you stick around all the way to the end of the video, you will find out what is your crystal of the month and what is it good for? How's it gonna help you? As well as figuring out how you can get a free reading from me. This video is for Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, but not Venus. Unless you are spying on somebody else's um, love forecast, for example, then it's for their Venus. But this video right here is going to show you how to get the most out of these videos that I make or that anybody else makes for taroscopes, horoscopes, whatever, or even ones that you would read online. And one more thing, there are links below to connect you to the taroscopes that I've been making online for all zodiac signs. And now let's get started. Taurus. Taurus. Okay, Taurus, your overall vibe isn't about looking backwards anymore. It's not about the past. It's about moving forward. So looking at finances, keeping that in mind, finances this month are maybe not the most exciting thing for you. Um, this month, how am I gonna do this the best way possible? I'm just gonna be honest, finances for you this month are maybe not the best that they've ever been. Is there anything you can do to change that? And they're like, well, for some of you, this is because you're not really working that hard. Um, is this by choice? Um, for some of you, it's about pursuing a new opportunity, something that's exciting to you. Maybe finances just aren't exciting for you. You know, maybe what you're doing in the workplace just doesn't bring you joy anymore. Um, so is it scary to take a new leap? Absolutely. Whether that is good for all or some Tauruses, I mean, obviously that would be better answered in a personal reading. And like I said, in the description box below, there is information on how you can get one or get a free one. But regardless, um, you know, you've got to, if your situation isn't something that you're super excited about, start thinking about what makes you excited or how can I get excited to go to work at a job that I need to keep, you know, yada, yada. Now, as far as getting lucky in love, this is a slower process than you probably want it to be, okay? Slow but steady wins the race in getting to know people. That's overall the vibe. Now, this would be new people, even though while um, some of you watch this, we're just kind of in the end of a Mercury retrograde shadow period or starting a Mercury retrograde shadow period. So keeping in mind, this should be somebody new. Now, we're gonna look at singles specifically. What does March look like? Singles, if you're not manifesting, anything if you haven't given any thought as to what or who you would like in a relationship what kind of a partner you desire well then good luck finding it right um, so I would encourage you to think about those kinds of things I have also included a worksheet below in the description box that will help you get there now for couples there is a challenge the challenge is do we want to go through the drama that is necessary in order to build something new and better in its place? Or do we let this go? Or do we just keep it as it is, but then that drama is gonna keep resurfacing, okay? So what they say is you have to feel 100% confident that this is the relationship you wanna be in and that it's worth keeping. If right now, as you're watching this, um, your perspective has not changed if it's been the same for a long time um, that you want to stay together then what they say is like you know keep in mind that these things take time that they, they don't happen overnight okay um, taking apart old habits old ways of doing things and instituting new ones is a lot of hard work but if you've decided it's worth it and you're confident this is the person for you then it is going to be worth it so the first step in that is um, kind of trying to be careful in the way that you're communicating making sure that everything comes across supportive and loving because you've got to tame the beast that is your partner um, 
with the way that you put the information out there, you know, the old adage is it's not what you say, but how you say it. Now, if you've decided it is time to move on, then they say you have to stick to that. No wavering, no back and forth. You must be fully decided that that is the case. And then also use that worksheet that I um, had put down below um, to manifest what it is because you would be in that single vibe, okay? Now, if you're in an on again, off again relationship, if it's complicated, if it's maybe not Facebook official, what's up for you? They're like, you need to pay attention to where your partner might be offering you love and you're just not noticing it or to opportunities that are coming to you that you're just not seeing or noticing. Now, sometimes this can come across as like, um, we're not approachable. Other people are into us, but they don't feel ready to try to show us their interest because we're a little standoffish. You know, maybe our body language is like this or maybe we're always looking at our phone when we're um, waiting for our coffee at the coffee shop or something like that. And so we don't seem very approachable. And so making sure that all of that is very open um, and that you want to hear from people is going to be helpful. What they're saying is if you focus on what is right here in front of you, those opportunities, then there is love to be had and um, for you to take advantage of. So where in your life do we need to push our luck in order to get ahead? So, um, I just dropped like a whole stack of things on the floor. The first thing is we need to think about the big picture. At the end of the day, what is it we're focused on? What is it that we want? And not thinking about the barriers or the steps to getting there. And oftentimes this is the case. If I know what it is I want at the end of the day, I don't need to control how that flows to me, how that comes to me. And this is where a lot of people fuck the law of attraction up, right? Is they go, oh, okay, well, I wanna be famous, so I need to have you know, like so much Instagram engagement, or I need to find a new social media platform, or I need to make this thing go viral. And it's like the universe can kind of just help you achieve that fame if that's what it is that you want. It doesn't matter what it is you want, whatever the end goal is, but don't try to control how it comes to you because you're just creating a barrier to allowing the law of attraction to work for you, okay? They're like basically focus on what you want and don't do that much about it. Allow it to flow to us. But you have to be super specific. A lot of times people are like, I want more money, but they're not specific in how much money they want or what it is that they desire. And so then um, the next day, they don't realize that they manifested more money in their life when they find a penny on the ground and the universe is like, yeah, hooked you up, okay? And we don't appreciate it then. So they're like, first step is decide. Decide what it is that you want. And now for some of the signs, I'm sure that this is gonna be super specific, but for you, they're kind of like, look, anything that you want, you can have it, but let's figure that out, okay? All right, so now if you are actually going to use this information, go ahead and leave a comment saying, I am getting what I want. And the reason why you should do that is because then we affirm what we want to the universe, be super specific, because we make our ideas then, um, we take them from conceptual to concrete by putting them out into the universe in written form. Um, and you know, writing, it requires us to spell things and you know, that's why they call it spelling because like casting a spell, okay? So think about what is it you desire and then affirm it, all right? Now, What rain is going to be hitting your life this month? So just generally, it's not your luckiest month. Honestly, you might not be that lucky, all right? Unfortunately. Sometimes we have lucky months, sometimes we don't. For you, Taurus, that's just kind of the case. Um, but what will the rainbow or reward be that comes after that? And they're like introspection, figuring out what makes our heart shine. It seems like for a lot of you, it's almost as though the mercury retrograde, certain aspects of it are hitting later than usual. It's like all of a sudden, um, we are forced to sort of think about what's important to, uh, to me. What am I manifesting? Like, do I care about money? Do I care about love? Do I really want this relationship? What do I want for my life? And once you figure that out, there's a lot of enthusiasm and blessings to be there. But if you don't, you're gonna feel kind of unlucky and unfortunate, like things just aren't going your way. So how you get a free personal reading is you go onto my website, you click um, following these steps right here. I'm not going to harass you. I will only send you one email a month that lets you know if you won or you didn't. And so best of luck. I love you so much and I will see you in April. Mwah! 
Carnelian. Carnelian is associated with the sacral chakra, which is the orange one just below your belly button. Carnelian crystals are safe to run under cold water, to soak in salt water. They're safe to cleanse and clear with incense. And you can also cleanse or charge them in the sunlight and moonlight. The angels associated to carnelian are not known at this point in time. Carnelian is used for courage, self-confidence, standing up for yourself, and it helps to eliminate and or reduce fear, rage, envy, jealousy, as well as resentment. Carnelian is great for alleviating depression and it awakens your inner joy. It provides energy and rejuvenation. Carnelian is a mental stimulant, so it helps you to concentrate, to problem solve, and then it helps eliminate feelings of confusion. Carnelian encourages feelings of trust and love, as well as communication, and it helps your spiritual body align. Carnelian is a protective stone, and it helps to increase your abundance, as well as your passion and desire. Carnelian is one of those stones that is often used for sexual problems because it enhances fertility, it increases libido, as well as sexual creativity. It releases blockages that create sterility and impotence in men particularly. It works on the small intestines health and it helps you to absorb more vitamins that you're getting from your diet. Carnelian helps your blood to stay healthy and it increases your platelet formation. Carnelian is a stone that helps to remove toxins from your body to eliminate low back pain and then the symptoms of arthritis and nerve pain as well. You might notice that your digestive system starts to function a little bit better when you're using carnelian and it also has benefits for your bladder as well. Mm -hmm.